morning everyone garden update uh, February 21st here's my uh, lemon bush which I just got through uh, pruning uh, this weekend so pruned it off of the shed here and back up so you can see the lemon bush so looking forward to lemons this spring and I had um, okay the palm tree you remember we had a bunch of these uh, seeds that were falling on the ground I don't know if you can see them see those pods and I basically pruned the pruned the palm tree this weekend <laughs> and I cut off that uh, huge uh, for a while I thought those were dates but I found out that they're just seeds but they do have a sweet smell kind of like an apricot but uh, anyway they don't they're not dates <laughs> um, and then uh, I have my morning Okay, this is my uh, peach tree, which is going to bud. I think we have some, um, let's get some focus in there. Can you see, let me back it up a little. You can see the buds forming on the uh, peach tree. And there's my compost pile. It's just grass and, uh, and, um, kitchen scraps this is the bucket I uh, I store my kitchen scraps in and uh, here's what I'm gonna put in there today some watermelon and celery pieces and stuff and uh, let's see there it is there decomposing and I just put it in there and keep the lid on and uh, every other week, uh, the lawn gets mowed, and then I have another layer of grass, and then I'll put this layer, and then a layer of grass on top of that. And then uh, everything I planted here doesn't seem to be growing. I might have I might have planted it a little too early. However, I do have one small little cabbage starting to grow up right there. So I'm probably going to plant more stuff, something else in this area again. Unless those seeds do come up in the spring. So, and uh, then over here we have, we have peppers that are going to come back in the spring one right there Show me. <laughs> and uh, then I'll take you around front here and the uh, it said a bush is still red but I did prune it back quite a bit because it was just breaking and falling apart anyway and uh, I pruned the uh, pomegranate tree and it's already starting to bloom up top sprout I should say and uh, over here this is the, uh, these are the daisies that uh, died back last year, starting to come back. And I pruned the uh, grapevine. This is the grapevine. I pruned it, retied it, uh, getting ready for it to uh, start to blossom again. This uh, pot right here is another uh, peach tree, which is still juvenile. Uh, but you can see the buds starting to uh, form on the on the tree there, and then uh, that's the uh, basil that uh, is going to seed. 
right now and the uh, fig tree you can see is sprouting so we're looking forward to a lot of figs this year and over here I uh, decided to plant potatoes so you can see that the potatoes are starting to come up right there I also planted some uh, seeds right here of lemon cucumbers so we'll see how those go hopefully they'll just climb right up these trellises and there's uh, potatoes again right there and here's our plumeria bush which pretty much lost all its leaf getting ready to prune this I think right here and right here to keep it away from the house and then over here <laughs> this is a tomato bush from last year you can see that it's starting to grow again it just grew right up out of where it had died out and you can see it's starting to develop tiny tomatoes already and then my my green tree collard just continues to grow and it's doing very well in the winter time because in the winter you don't have a problem with caterpillars or what they call inchworms and so these leaves are all good for eating collard greens um, or you can juice them which we do we do that mostly we juice these and uh, <clears throat> this is getting ready for a nice little harvest and then it'll just keep growing and uh, and then over here we uh, continue to use this standing uh, garden here I've got some uh, green leaf lettuce growing here um, yeah it's doing really good this is just a milkweed for the butterflies um, we got our spinaches and there's the parsley from last year starting to come back um, this looks like a lemon tree <laughs> that just started growing out of the compost again the dichondra it just kind of uh, started growing I didn't even plant that and it makes for a good ground cover you can see how it grows itself right up to the base of this this uh, spinach and it, it just creates a nice insulation so no reason to pull this out it doesn't pull nutrients from uh, the other plants surrounding plants like like people have uh, so often uh, taught um, uh, very few things uh, will pull nutrients from each other so uh, you know when a when a when a weed is becoming um, invasive well the dichondra I guess you could kind of call that invasive but it doesn't grow very high so because it doesn't grow very high it doesn't block out uh, the spinach growing there so it's actually beneficial and then this I kept thinking what is this and then I, I looked down in the middle there and I and I see these buds and I thought this must be a broccoli and I don't remember planting broccoli but it's hard to keep up with the seeds I've thrown um, but I've thrown broccoli into the compost raw so maybe maybe it just came up from the compost so I don't know and then of course we have the uh, more spinach here and then under here it's not um, dichondra but it's actually uh, oregano this is oregano and then these are the uh, basils from last year that are going to seed I'm letting those go to seed another basil here basil going to seed 
there's the basil flowering going to seed and I guess these are some uh, types of lettuces here too uh, that I had thrown down some lettuces and green onions from last year I just leave them in until they until they get bigger you just keep leaving them in they can grow for a year and um, they grow slow through the winter and then they start to speed up during the summer and then there's my organic gala apple tree growing nicely I'm gonna repot that soon and over here these are uh, this is some Shasta daisies that I planted from seed and looking forward to those that's our flower Lauren and I's flower there's my mint coming along nicely out here now the tomatillo bush has completely died back and you can see some of the dried tomatillos there that just died out but I'm hoping it reseeds itself or it comes back I don't know we'll see what happens now here's the uh, artichoke plant which the leaves die and then it sprouts new so hoping to see some new growth on that and then over here this is asparagus I planted some asparagus and you can see this one here <laughs> this long shoot here this is part of the asparagus and then there's a little tiny asparagus and uh, and then in here let's see what we got I think these are beets I believe these are beets and then more green onions there so that's pretty much it for the garden update right now and God bless everyone